Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for sticking with me through that break. If you are just tuning in, we just finished talking about the massive blockbuster trade between Steph between the Bills and the Texans that sent Pro Bowl wide receiver Stephon Diggs to the Houston Texans in exchange for a second round pick. Crazy trade there. Um, go back and watch that segment if you want to hear my thoughts. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about basketball. Victor Wembanyama, the rookie sensation, uh, the French freak over there, he uh, he went off against the Nuggets in a huge matchup versus the potential number one seed in the West, the Spurs who are already eliminated. This is more, all their games are more, hey, let's see what this kid can do. And Victor Wembanyama is playing with the best of them. It's scary to think... It's crazy to even think about how far he's come from the beginning of the season till now. If you remember, he was just kind of okay at the beginning of the season, and now he's looking world-class, like that number one overall pick that everyone was touting him to be. Greatest ever. Potential to be the GOAT. He is there. I see it. And everyone else does as well. Victor Wembenyama is here, and it's he's, he's going to be up there sooner than we think. He's already a top 10 player in the league. It's insane. But before we get further into this matchup, uh, remember, if you would like to be an even bigger part of the show than you already are, all you need to do is go to gsmcpodcast.net, leave a tip or donation with a message. It'll pop up on the bottom of the screen. We'll have a little discussion about what you have to say. You can control the show. You can control what questions are answered. All you have to do is leave a tip or donation at gsmcpodcast.net. Once again, that link is gsmcpodcast.net. But like I was saying, Victor Wembenyama versus Nikola Jokic. The present versus the future. Uh, you can say that a lot of people are the present of the NBA, but I think you'd be wrong if you said it wasn't Jokic. Jokic, who has won two of the last three MVPs, he's coming off winning a, an NBA championship. Jokic, who most likely, barring anything crazy happening, is going to win MVP this year. Uh, so third time in four years that he would have won MVP. And now there's this kid from France, Victor Wembenyama, putting up stat lines that we've never seen before. Uh, there was this, There's this Twitter account um, that I saw that was tracking unique stat lines that Victor Wembenyama has put up. And he's already put up seven of them this season. He's already put up seven unique stat lines from the entire history of the NBA. Victor Wembanyama has. It is crazy. You know, he almost had a quadruple double last night. That just doesn't happen. He had 23 points, 15 rebounds, 8 assists, and 9 blocks. 9 blocks, 8 assists, 15 rebounds, and 23 points is some 2K my player stat lines. You know, that's not supposed to be a real thing. There's a world where Victor Wimbanyama puts up a quadruple double. Puts up points, assists, rebounds, blocks, steals. All in double digits. A, a quadru... A, 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 sorry, not a quadruple double. That That's going to happen next season. Maybe even this season. We, he was... Three, he was one board. He, he, sorry, he was two assists and one block away from a quadruple double. Uh, I don't even know what you would call it—a sink, sink, tuple double. Five, five things that 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 is insane to think about, and it's not even that crazy that I'm saying this. He is changing the game of basketball just because of how big he is and how he's able to play like a guard at his size, you know? He's able to shoot from deep. He's able to stretch the floor. He is seven foot five and able to do these things. It is crazy. We have never seen a guy like him in basketball before, at least not with the skill set he has or the... Uh, it's just insane, you know? What he's done this season... Has, as a rookie, to be top 10 in the league is is not normal, you know? You're not supposed to be that good right away. You're supposed to have to adjust, and he did. It took him some time. 
but the rate that he is improving, it's constant, you know? Even this last performance last night from a month ago, you know, and he was balling a month ago, Victor Wenbanyama was. He was he was killing it out there. He was he was he had arrived a month ago. He had officially taken over the rookie of the year race. But he puts this up tonight against Nikola Jokic. Not an easy matchup by any stretch of the imagination. Still still in a losing effort. But what he does out there on the court, he is always the center of attention. Like, he just does everything. You can't... It's going to be so hard to, fig- to, to figure out how to beat him. And he's only getting better. And it's not one of those things where he's slowly getting better. It's almost exponential improvement from the beginning of the season. He got he figured out the NBA so fast. It makes it look easy, and I know it isn't. <laughs> Professional basketball is one of the hardest sports to play at the highest level, just because of how little spots there are. All these guys are amazing, but Victor Wembanyama makes them look like it makes some of them look like rec players. You know, just just because just because of how he is, he is a very special talent, and. Maybe this time next year we're talking about him as the best player in the league. I don't think that's too far-fetched. I don't think it's too hard to believe that one year from now he is in conversation for best player in the league. And I think some people already are putting him in there. You know, the Spurs get some help around him, and they're going to. They're going to pick pretty high in this draft. There isn't like a Victor Wembanyama style prize, but... You get a really solid point guard with him. You go get uh, get someone who can facilitate, can pass, get Victor Wembanyama the ball more often. He's gonna start putting up some scary numbers. Not that he isn't already, but his his monster numbers now. We're just gonna get used to them. It's very it's very hard to picture the future of the NBA. Uh, and Victor Wembanyama is not the center of it. You know, it's all just it's all coming. It's all coming together for him. This is his league, and it it will be. He will be the face of the league. It will be his league in the next two seasons, maximum. He is very special. He's such a special talent, uh, and he really showed that against the defending champion Nuggets. Uh, just an insane stat line. Almost a quadruple double. And this isn't the first time we've seen that from him. He does this stuff like once a week. It's scary. It's scary how good Victor Wembanyama really is. But the Nuggets are still able to get the win there. The Nuggets move to first place in the West. Uh, they they overtake the Thunder there. They're up half a game on them. It's a uh, it's a tight race up top. This was a big win for them, and it wasn't supposed to be this hard. But when Victor Wembanyama is playing like he is right now, there's no such thing as an easy win. <laughs> he's gonna make it tough. Offense, defense, he's he's so disruptive. But anyway. In our next segment coming up, we're going to stay in the NBA. We're going to talk a little bit about Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid made his return against the Thunder, who are also fighting for a top spot in the Western Conference. The the Philadelphia 76ers are fighting to get out of the play-in. They are very close to that six-seed line, um, and Joel Embiid is hopefully going to bring them in, or they're hoping that Joel Embiid is going to come in and push them over the top push them to that uh, out of that play in push them into the playoffs we'll have to see how this goes there are like 5 games left in the NBA season we're going to talk about Joel Embiid what he did last night what it means for the Sixers season and more coming up next on Sports by GSMC Podcast Network <laughs> 